Welcome to Episode 6 of Bible Art Journaling with Deb, on the road to have coffee and spend time in the Word. Today, I'm traveling to Java 18 in Garner, Iowa. Garner is the county seat of Hancock County, with a population a little over 3,000 and is located 12 miles west of Interstate 35. In the 1880s, the Duesenberg brothers, who later went on to build the Duesenberg automobile, operated a bicycle sales and repair business in Garner. Doozy days are celebrated every year in July to commemorate these brothers. What I was surprised to learn about Garner was that the famous evangelist, Billy Sunday, held his first revival meeting in the town with nearly 100 people accepting Christ during the week of meetings in 1896. As I did a little more research on Billy Sunday, I found his story quite fascinating. I encourage you to look at the YouTube video on the history of his life entitled, Billy Sunday, A Voice for God posted by the Garraways, which I will link in the comments below. Java 18 is located right on Highway 18 West, where their drive through begins at the edge of a field. Don't let the rural setting deter you. The inside is bright and elegant with plush chairs, sparkly decor, fun coffee signs, a fireplace, and plenty of delicious amenities. The breakfast and bakery options range from toast and a yogurt parfait to scones and coffee cake. The lunch menu includes fresh ingredients arranged on a croissant, whole wheat, rye, or as a wrap, all served with chips. Their drinks are everything you would expect at a coffee shop and more. There are daily specials for medium roast, bold, and flavored coffees, as well as holiday and seasonal themed beverages and menu items. For your non-coffee drinking friends, they offer fruit smoothies, orange juice, and pop. I love the little tidbits and details I discover when I research a coffee shop and its community for these videos. Like for instance, Java 18 gets some of their coffee beans from a small batch roaster in Lake Mills, Iowa called Two Daughters Coffee. And Java 18 recently opened a second location this year in the Clear Lake Athletics and Wellness Center called The Daily Grind. Owner Laura Schlusner founded Java 18 in 2017 and has been assisting aspiring entrepreneurs ever since, as she had a vision of creating space for incoming business while also building her coffee shop. Her advice is, if you can dream it, you can work hard, educate yourself, and do it. Join me today as I enjoy an iced coconut mocha with one of their Coco Moco Energy Bites and Bible Journal on Isaiah 61.1. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. The Concordia Study Bible Notes for this passage says, The Spirit will endow him with the wisdom to undertake wise purposes and with the power to carry them out. As I said at the beginning, Billy Sunday held his first revival meeting in Garner. Over 40 years, he was a voice for God. Away from the crowds, Billy was quiet and shy. He rarely talked unless he was spoken to. To overcome this, when he preached, his Bible was always open to Isaiah 61.1. I'm using the cartoon artist's rendition of Billy on my page, which reflects the major theme for his preaching, the consequences of sin. Billy never strayed from his two-part sermons, the denunciation of sin and the power of God to save man from sin through Jesus Christ as a personal Savior. I decided to extend my study time today with an outside excursion. Just a few miles east from Garner is the Galilean Church in Clare Lake, which has an open-to-the-public labyrinth. If you've never done a labyrinth experience, I recommend you find one near you and give it a try. I have done one that was constructed on concrete and that one where the path is cut through the grass. I prefer the grass path as there is just something about connecting with God in nature that makes it more meaningful. 
Meditatively walking a labyrinth can be calming as well as clarifying. There are no specific rules to the process, however, general advice is to enter the labyrinth slowly while clearing your mind. Open your senses and focus on the process, bringing a prayer or question during the walk to the center. When you reach the center, pause to reflect and listen. On the return journey, pray and reflect further. Upon exiting, absorb the experience with continued thought and contemplation through journaling and prayer. In Christianity, labyrinth walking was also used as an act of repentance for sins. Learning more about how to walk a labyrinth and what to expect before you go can help you make the most of your experience. This particular labyrinth experience in Clear Lake, Iowa, features placards strategically placed along the path that have passages from the Book of Psalms to meditate on. I was intrigued to find one from Psalm 147, which included the verse, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, which echoed the sentiment in our verse today from Isaiah. I headed home feeling very peaceful and finished up my page with some more color and a few more notes. I also added a Java 18 logo to my page to help me remember the day. I hope you have enjoyed this time of Bible art journaling, coffee, and reflective walking of the labyrinth, and that you will check out my blog and future episodes of Bible art journaling with Deb on the road to have coffee and spend time in the word. Blessings, friends.